Are you satisfied with the standard of service provided by TransLink? Not anymore, no. I don't really like their customer service that much. I'm not a really big TransLink fan, to be honest. No, I'm always late. Definitely not. TransLink's a bunch of sh Recently, TransLink's public transport services in Brisbane have been becoming unreliable, unpleasant, and certainly not worth the fare that they charge. To reassure this statement, the people of Brisbane explained their negative experiences that they have had with TransLink in relation to the quality of services and the fares. So Brisbane, how has TransLink been affecting you recently? Delays, being stuck on a train for hours on end, buses, all that sort of thing. Uh, my bus is really unpredictable. It's just annoying. And Buses are late all the time. It's just like circumstances where the bus doesn't come at all. Quite often you get unfriendly bus drivers. It's always dirty. There are not enough security on trains at night time. I always get harassed by the local crazy person on the train or drunk person. Before uh, all these glitches in the system started happening, I didn't think they were alright, but now they're just too unreliable to use as a form of transport. When did these glitches start happening? Uh, I think pretty sure like, the first one was about three months ago. The trains just sort of stopped working. Um, don't know why. And it just regularly happens all the time now. So. The peak hour trains are really crowded. The buses tend to be late and horrible. And what about the reliability of TransLink? What do you think of that? It can be a bit um, unreliable, a especially bit. on weekends. So would you say that perhaps more security might be a better idea? More security on, on any train past six o'clock. Do you think that uh, the idea of shutting down the last three carriages of a train is a good idea? Yeah, that's a good idea. Obviously. But I mean, instead of shutting down the last three carriages, just um, run three car services. Yeah, that would make more sense. Uh, this morning, the bus that I was meant to catch broke down, so I had to wait until the next bus came. Uh, how long was that? Uh, probably about 10 minutes. It's a good way of getting across Brisbane, but when you get caught in delays, it doesn't become very reliably fast or anything like that. I have asthma, and I remember it was it was like so crowded, it was hard to breathe, and I think that's actually kind of a big concern. As Brisbane has said, TransLink does not appear to be improving the quality of service, yet the prices are increasing rapidly. Yeah, yeah, and the, it's, it's quite expensive, it's like $4 a day almost, and um, yeah, it's just keep going up, I think it's just going to keep going up. In 2008, a one-way ticket from South Bank to Norman Park would cost 80 cents for a student. Today, that same ticket costs $1.79 on the go-card. In 2014, TransLink is expected to raise the price of this ticket to $2.37. But does the public also think that this is too expensive? The pricing is too expensive. I have to pay for two boys. That's mm, quite a huge amount. Well, it's a roof wall. Definitely a roof wall. Yeah. Have you recently been finding public transport excessively expensive? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, it is. Bus fares. That's a big deal. I hate bus fares. So tall. Too expensive? Yes. Walking or driving is a better way of doing things now, I think. I don't use it often. I actually walk to work mostly. If you are serious about getting cars off the streets, you need to make it more attractive to catch the train or the bus, but at the moment they are not. Absolutely right. For an adult to travel from Brisbane to Rabina Station would cost 11.91 on the train and would take an hour and 16 minutes. If this adult drove a car with a fuel consumption of approximately 10 litres per 100 kilometres, it would only cost them 8.23 litres of petrol. At 152.9 cents today, it would cost them $12.58 and only take them 57 minutes. I got my peas yesterday, so cars are definitely in picture. <laughs> Parking so expensive around Brisbane? Because my parents are working and I have no other way of getting to school. TransLink's public spokesman, Andrew Berkman, says that at 99.4% of journeys, the go cards are working perfectly fine. But if you break this down into 10 journeys a week, this means that every two to three months, you will have an issue with your go-card. Just my go-card, just keep, uh, keep expiring, and I'm just 
top up. 100 commuters every day are being incorrectly charged. This also means that thousands of commuters every month are being incorrectly charged. I guess the buses could come more often, so there would be more people catching buses. And also I think they need to like invest in more buses for like smaller bus routes because you know you see a lot of like 100, 130, and the 115, that comes like every hour. The cost of petrol is quite high, so... Uh, okay, so public transport is the lesser of two evils. Yeah, yeah. Is TransLink giving passengers what they want? Today, they have said otherwise. TransLink is expanding, but are they expanding in the right areas? What does Brisbane want to see from TransLink? Better customer service, like trains being on time, and just the prices. Less delays. I guess the way that you're treated, more efficient, cleaner public transport, and uh, yeah, more security. Make their system work. Stop making the trains stop working. More frequent buses coming by, a higher frequency, basically. I would really like to see that there are that's a, that there's a better network to use for the prices that they are charging us because it's getting more expensive, but the net is not necessarily getting better for me personally. On the buses, if they're going to be late, like they have a rough idea, they have more accurate bus times and peak hours. Buses only like come any any random time, so if they give some sort of way of knowing it that bit more accurately, that would be good. More of the 204 bus. Very good. Um, it's fine. Thanks for your time.